Let me just start by going on record that you probably don't want to do this Easter egg solo. Because I don't know about you, but I definitely don't have the patience to run around this whole stadium, the whole damn thing, to find them in mop buckets. Look at this damn thing. But it is in fact possible, when you get access to these secret rooms with these cards, you get special perks. For instance, this guy right here, specialist bonus, you get all your perks. Another thing is you can get a juggernaut, or you can get the durable gas mask. It's all depending on the game that you're playing. As you may know, red access cards are back, but we also have a new set of cards, the blue access cards. Just like when red access cards were first introduced, they still do open the same bunkers. Now, we have the blue access cards. One thing you might notice about these guys is that they are numbered and lettered. EL for executive lounge, you got CL for center level, and your P2 for parking level 2. One thing you might want to take note about interest on these things is they do despawn in the game. I read online that people said they despawn in about 3 to 5 minutes, but we have found some cards about 12 to 15 minutes in game. In that situation we might have just gotten lucky, but something I can confirm after trying to do this about 10 times in a row is these cards do spawn randomly throughout the stadium. And not on the outside, they will specifically be inside the doors every time. Sadly you can't carry two, and no it does not open bunker 11. Coming up here in the video, I've made a diagram to make it a little bit easier for you guys to figure out where these guys are hiding. And back to what I was saying in the beginning, you do want to drop with a squad, preferably. Find a spot where each of you guys are going to land, preferably the ones you guys know best. Personally, I land in bar area just because it's an easier access to parking level just in case you get that card. Um, it's very known for the cards to give you opposite levels. So just get a general blueprint of stadium in your head and just land wherever you feel most comfortable. With all that said, let's get right into the video, guys. And before you try to call me out, I understand that one game is a duos and the other one's a squads. More on that later in the video. First things first, let's ping stadium. Just once though, not like 17 times or 82 times, please stop. Secondly, I like bottom, so we're gonna land there first and there's two ways you can go in. <laughs> Anyways, the one that's marked is just a straight shot, so it's a little bit easier. Next, you wanna make your way up the ramp and dash across the field to the bar. Here, you'll find the door in the left corner. And you might be asking yourself, I wonder if Trey's doing these on drop night. Yeah, we were. I wasted three hours of my life! So this is where things start to get interesting. We get to the last room, I make sure I close the door. We go in, we get our code. Everything's going good, right? Everything's doing what it's supposed to, right? Everything's doing what it needs to, right? Right? Nope. Have you ever just wanted to throw your fucking phone? And I mean, launch that thing? But I won't let that stop me. Oh no, I won't. Oh hell no. I got two more people, and those two people made it to where we had a squad, and we grinded this out again, and let me tell you, this is where things start to get interesting, and boy do I mean interesting. I'm running, I'm running, I'm ready, I'm willing, I'm able. I'm squatted up and armed to the teeth, boys. There is literally no better moment than the moment that I am feeling right now in this very moment. Let me tell you, I feel fucking alive. Ooh, huh. Like, comment, and subscribe.